Indiana Senator Joe Donnelly spent most of last Friday afternoon meeting with the task force to get input on the new farm bill. Indiana Farm Bureau President Randy Crone says crop insurance remains their top concern. When we're looking at a safety net. The crop insurance was the one that they put at the top of the list. Uh, sometimes we think about the commodity title, but crop insurance that helps take the weather volatility out of the market or out off the farm a little bit. So that was their number one priority. They said if funding becomes an issue, that's the one that should be number one. He said the nutrition title of the farm bill also got a lot of discussion. I think actually this is the first time in any task force we had on the farm bill that we actually looked at the nutrition program. And as you know, it's roughly 80% of the, what we call the farm bill. And our group thought it was important. If we're gonna talk about the farm bill, we need to understand the nutrition part of it. And actually they talked about block grants, whether they would support that or not. And our policy, they came out and said that they would not support the block grants. Don Lee says after meeting with the farmers, he has a better idea of where Indiana Farm Bureau stands on these key issues. He will continue to travel the states, taking input from other stakeholders on future farm policy. Right, I had the privilege to meet with the um, Indiana Farm Bureau Farm Bill Task Force, um, and they have been a partner to me in uh, helping to determine what in our view is important, what is critical. What are the things that Indiana's farmers are looking for in the upcoming Farm Bill? And I've always said I'm the hired help, and uh, my job is to reflect the wisdom and the understanding and the experience of Indiana's farmers so we have a Farm Bill that works for our state, and the best way is to work together. One of the other things we talked about was not just the Farm Bill, but also if we do an infrastructure bill. And um, when we look at infrastructure, I see broadband as a critical part of it. I see broadband to our rural communities um, as, as vitally important. Look, um, many, many years ago, we made sure that our, our whole state was electrified. We made sure our nation had the chance to uh, have electric service, and, and that opened up uh, development of, of rural communities even more. Broadband is the same way. Um, our children shouldn't have to go to someone else's house to try and get access to the internet so they can do their homework. They ought to be able to do it right there at home. And so um, this is a commitment of mine to continue developing uh, our rural communities to make our rural communities more attractive is uh, great broadband, is great rural hospital service, is great rural medical service, is great rural education, is great rural skills training.